think I have anything to sell because I sold before we got here. The people here so into the got a lot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give him some more money. Have you got some? I guess it pays to find seed money. Put all right, I'm gonna head up here because there's a chest. I think that's the only one here, but we'll do a little quick scan over this way. Oh, uh -huh, good thing we did. There's another one. Head back down and away from you. I find it surprising that there's all these Machina on this dock, and Machina are bad, and you don't have other people walking to this area to see what the heck's going on. And since you only have these three, you don't need to change anybody out. Yeah, and this one gives you a lot more party freedom uh, sooner. This is like the only part early on where you have a forced team after you get the main team. Or when you have Final Fantasy 13, you first get your powers and everything. You have everybody with you, but you can only use the one team. And then they split up and you only have the teams of whichever storyline part you're doing. And you don't get to actually do parties until way later. Oh, there's the chest for this dock. And that kind of bugged me with 13 2, or 13. <laughs> I haven't played 13 2 other than the demo. As you see here, I'm having Titus and Kamari concentrate on one because her thunder attack probably takes out one on her own. Yep. Sucks you don't have a uh, steel yet. If I remember right, that uh, dismantle thing. Yep. Mm, no chests on that dock, so let's just move on. And here you're going to get multiple mobs in a row. And as you notice, I'm just doing basic attacks. I'm not getting fancy. What's up with these guys? something to talk about. Um, last time I asked about favorite characters and we both said what our favorite characters were. Yeah, that works. I don't yes. remember a lot of the bosses, but was there any bosses in particular that, whether it was difficult or not, you enjoyed? Oh, see, I can't remember all the bosses. Um, most, <laughs> of the, most of the big bosses are a particular bad guy over and over again. So um, it's... Me, a boss... I guess you can say about it. You could consider maybe like an optional boss, and then you get it as a summon. Would be um, Anima. Yeah, Anima was a good fight. Anima um was hard because it's a really strong Aeon, but it was my favorite Aeon out of all. 
Well, any mind Baja. Six high potions just from that battle. The Aurochs are keeping the score tied with some excellent keep defense. Keep you up to date on what the other team member is doing. Yeah. And here's the part where you kind of see oh, that, he'll feel yeah, that one in the morning. they're going to play dirty ah, but the while the referee they're playing doesn't dirty. call the foul. Yeah, they're Black is playing dirty Indian man there. out. He won't last. Waka's always like that. Ouch. And I'm sorry, but Let's here go. is the one time where I didn't like Lulu was with this whole scenario because, like, I'm sorry, I like to see you get in there and have a big b bunch of big buff men beating on you while you're holding your breath for half an hour. Right. And knowing that you have to keep the score tied otherwise, because if you start winning, Yuna might die. If you start losing, you lose the tournament. Yeah. So he's got to keep perfectly tied. And he's got to let himself get beat up. Because if he fight, if he fought back and punched any of the or like hit any Let's of go. them, I bet the ref would call it right away. Right. And here's a part where I don't understand how Lulu. It doesn't even show her jumping. Like, how did Lulu make that jump in that dress? I think it does show her jump on the old game. Really? Yeah. So here we get uh, another boss fight. You get the Blitzball Machina. <laughs> so here's our next m mini boss. And most hey, Machina are, are machines are uh, susceptible to thunder. And don't forget on t uh, this turn on t you have to try using the train. Yeah, you'll get a little cutscene that brings it over, but until then you don't get the choice of touching it. Oh, because he said, hey, so that you have to try activating it. He's like, oh, there's no power. And then we shock it. Oops. Oh, blitz. <laughs> oh, I did a regular attack. What am I thinking? Good that's grief. Right. So for those of you who haven't seen a regular attack, that's what she does. She sets down the little doll. It runs over there and kicks on me. Yep. Ah, uh, all right. Go to the left to the trigger. Oh, you got to heal. Oh, I don't have any... That's good. Come on, move! It's probably out of power. So that's your hint when she says it's probably out of power. You're gonna thunder it. Give it some power. Yep. And of course you gotta do it multiple times. Yeah. Seems to respawn, but it starts up a little bit and then dies back down. Um. Well, hold on, I'll wait until the next time on Kamari to see how much health the boss has, because I don't remember if you need to do the crane or not. I know it makes it a lot quicker and easier, but I don't remember if you need to do this. Oh, at this point in the game, you're not going to want to have a long battle because you don't have a lot of potions and anything else. And right now, I am low on life. Better hit him first because he's the lowest. Alright, and Titus is now overdrive, so we want to use it right away. Yep. Yeah, because this guy's got 4,000 more health. 
Ooh, there I finally go. got it. Now he's down. He's dead. <laughs> I didn't know how much damage he'd done since the time I <laughs> See, and you apparently all the women in this game know how to do one inch punches. Yeah. Yuna, <laughs> yeah, and it looks like she just one inch punched him. <laughs> And you're thinking, okay, if you can do that, why didn't you just freaking escape on your own? Right. Good grief. Like, anyway. they make all the women in this game super helpless and, like, super stereotyped females, and yet I they can one-inch punch during cutscenes. A little. What is it? There were these all bed that saved my life you're always, when I first came to Spirit. You know, getting more and more of the story. He even gave me food. I was kind of hoping that this was the same ship. But it's not. I wonder if they're all gone. What happened? Sin came up near us. I made it out okay, but I don't know what happened to their ship. Um, was there... Anyone called Sid on that ship? I don't know. They were all speaking that Al Bed language. I see. So who's Sid? He's my uncle, but I've never actually met him. So Yuna's part mm. Al Bed. Yeah, and I find it interesting that Wait, she's so that means half you're Al Bed too. So Yuna? she has what is it, what is it called, like heterochromia, side. where yes. she has two different colored eyes. Sid is my Seymour mother's that brother. We saw, he's only he became half distant Guado, after my mother married. So he gets blue hair. But she told me to seek him out if I ever needed help. But none of the characters you're that are right, 100 percent was... anything really have anything special. Don't about tell him. Waka about Yuna's lineage. The thing about Waka. He never had much love for the Albed. Well, the Albed do have Whoa. um unusual I, eyes. I we'll find them later. Yeah, I thought which I told you not to tell Waka. Is a different color. The game. Oh. A light spell. How come we don't get that in battles? <laughs> Teleport us back to the dock. Right. Come on now, she's not a left. green mage the or white mage. The Orogs are launching an all-out destruction magic. Oh, clearly not. A long pass from Letty. It goes she's like, through. What the fuck are those balls made out of that they can go this fast? Oh. No oh. idea. I can understand swimmers learning to go that fast because you have to do all that training and everything to be able to get quickly through the water. Win the match, but holding your two. breath for as long as they do and the ball moving that quickly, it's just like holy shit. We won! We did it! We're in the finals! Not the most graceful win. If it was Chapu, he'd still be standing. Yeah, like I said, this hey, whole scenario is why. Aren't you being just her. a little unfair? Excuse me. You heard me. Bitch. I know I could never take Chapu's place. 
you're the one who told Waka that, right, Lulu? And I don't think Waka would ever try to take Chapu's... You don't want to finish that sentence. <laughs> don't anyway, mess with the beast. But she, yeah, but she, he's right, though. She's sitting there saying that Waka will never take Chapu's place, yet she's the one comparing him to Chapu, not him. Yep. By the way, um, that guy right... Oh, well, no, you can't do it now, but I think that guy or, like, some other guy... You can hire Ronzos onto your team, too. Oh, yeah, you can hire somebody from various groups. 